I'm Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE. We're at Google for the sixth annual Top Women in Cloud Awards with CloudNow. Very excited to be joined by one of their new partners from the Holburton School, Kristen Lloyd. You are a scholarship recipient at Holburton. Welcome yes, to theCUBE. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It's great to have you here. You have a really interesting background. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, about the Holburton School, but tell us about your career path to getting into education and, and software engineering. Were you always a kid interested in technology or was this sort of a more zigzaggy path to technology? Yeah, it was definitely a little bit more zigzaggy. Uh, growing up, my dad was always into video games and I got to take apart VHSs, but I never really got into it. I just wanted to learn a little bit about everything. Um, so because of that, I went to school to be a teacher. Um, was a student teacher, decided, oh, this is a little bit more than I expected. Didn't know what to do. I fell into the um, the interest, the financial industry as an assistant there. I was learning a ton, but it wasn't really my passion. Um, I started hanging out with the IT guy there and asking him questions about how our systems worked and decided, oh my gosh, maybe this is what I want to do. Fell into Holburton and I've, I've loved it and I'm super advocate for it. Um, and I'm very excited to be here. That's awesome. So how did you, so you went and got a four-year degree yeah. and then said, you know what, not quite my passion, which is mm -hmm. really, congratulations on, on feeling that and go, you know what, I'm, I'm going to make make a change here. How did you hear about Holburton School? It's, it's a pretty new school, right? With a pretty yes. kind of revolutionary approach to helping and assisting with tuition and that sort of thing. What was it about Holburton that attracted you? Yeah, so me, being a former future educator, I was really into the model of project and peer learning uh, education. So there's no lectures, there's no formal books to read, but we have access to the internet and Google and we have access to our library at the school and we really just learn by doing projects and helping each other. One of my favorite parts about being at that school is even within my own cohort, there's different levels of uh, knowledge. So I'm always going to be able to help somebody and somebody's always going to be able to help me. It sounds very collaborative, which yes. is uh, probably it facilitates your learning because you're probably meeting different people that have, like you said, are at different levels. And mm -hmm. that's a really interesting, compare that to your four-year degree in terms of like the collaboration. How similar or dissimilar is it? Yeah, so in my four-year education, it wasn't, I, I still had a cohort model. Um, being an educator, there was like some of us who wanted to do that, right? So we had a lot of classes together. But that was more about um, individualistic learning. You read the text, you go in and you talk about it, and then like bing, bang, boom, okay, you know how to teach children now. And that that was great for what I was going to be doing. Um, but I learned better as doing projects and having the context of what we're working with and why we're doing things a certain way. And that's really spurred me to, to want to continue learning f in my entire career. So you're, you just finished your first year? Yes. So tell me about year two and then what you're thinking like long-term job-wise. Yeah, so uh, first I get to go out and either get an internship or an entry-level position. Um, so I'm looking into doing that now. And then year two, there's one of three tracks you can choose from. So there's low-level, web stack debugging, um, a couple other tracks are available to students. And so what that is, is you go really in-depth and have the specialization part. The first year is like, you can code now, you know C and Python, you can do uh, debugging, right? But Specialization years, like you go very deep in these concepts and you're able to work in an even smaller cohort and just really dig deep and get that knowledge. What does, last question as we wrap up here, mm -hmm. we're at the Cloud Now, sixth annual Top Women in Cloud um, Award event. Tell me a little bit about Cloud Now and kind of what maybe inspires you down the road as you as you uh, launch your tech career as, as a female in technology. Yeah, well, something that really uh, hit home for me today actually was the the, um, in, the diversity and inclusion panel that happened today. And something that Rebecca um, W said was about being a change maker and like being a change agent and having that positive energy going forward um, because the way you can combat some of these discriminatory remarks or slights is that being this person that can do it and just says, okay, well maybe you think that, but I'm going to show you and prove you that I'm here and I'm going to do it. And I think that's the, the best kind of energy to bring into that. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing that. And also something um, that was said today was being here at the event, we have a responsibility to represent and to mentor others. And I really take that to heart. Um, so I'm excited to be able to bring maybe some of my knowledge I got here today back to my classmates. 
and and continue that collaboration. Well, I think yes. you've got great energy, and I know someday you're gonna you're gonna be a mentor to a lot of people. <laughs> Kristen, thank you so much for joining us on the Cube, and we wish you the best of luck um, finishing out Holberton. And I'm sure we'll see you back on the Cube when you're a technology leader in the near future. I would love to. Thank you so much for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground with the Cube at Google. Stick around. We'll be right back. Oh.